now it's time for our... Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between El Nino and the young man from Maui, Hawaii, Kendall the Spider Grove. An ultimate fighter winner who loves to stand and brawl, six foot six Kendall the Spider Grove is an imposing figure in the middleweight division. Both an accomplished grappler and striker, this proud Hawaiian is looking to impress fight fans once again. Standing across from him in the red corner is El Nino. With explosive speed and elite level wrestling skills, this octagon warrior will be looking to take the fight to the ground and grind his opponent into the mat. Brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Maui, Hawaii. Kendall, the spider! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Amsterdam, Netherlands. This man is a former Walter Waite champion of five. He is the former UFC Walter Waite champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning Defending UFC middleweight champion of the world. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior, Ryan El Nino Jackson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break cleanly. Do you understand? Do you understand? Cuts gloves, let's come out fighting. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Okay, fighters. Kendall ready? Grove. You ready? El Nino. Round one is That's underway. Right. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're El Nino? We've had the best seat in the house as we have watched this man evolve from talented rookie. Oh, oh, beautiful combination. He's hurt. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Body shot. Double underhooks. Good striking. Little dirty boxing. Oh, and nice kid. body shots. Nobody doing much of anything. Referee's going to break him up. All right, here we go again. He's got the clinch. Gets a takedown. Pushing his opponent away. And he's hurt. Got the double underhooks. It's a takedown. All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And it's fun. Oh, big shot from the top. Oh, he's in big trouble here, Mike. Oh, he recovers. Joe, this place is going wild. The clinch game once again. And more knees. Again, he takes him down. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Both guys staying in tight. Countering and scoring big time. He is getting... He's hurt badly. He's down. Oh! Oh, this might be the end. Oh, but he recovers. Oh, he lets him up. Got the double underhooks. He's got the 
takedown. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Just about one minute remains in the first round. 45 seconds remains. He's got the double. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. He's in full guard. He pushes him off of the feet, and he lets him back up. Inside with a clinch again. It's a bit of a cut here on El Nino. Our first round is in the books. And if you were one of the judges watching that round, that should be simple to score. Well, you never know, Mike. This is a sport where anything can happen, and the judges are the least predictable part. Let's start hitting those legs a little. Find those punches. Hey. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. And here we. He sets up. He's got hands in his face fast, fast. All right, hard hands in his face. There's the. Okay, fighters. Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Huge left and right. Those are. Oh, big hook. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Oh, this is ugly, Mike. Oh, he recovers. He's got double underhooks here. They're pummeling back and... Oh, 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 it's over! And it's all over! Wow! Lethal knee! Perfectly executed Muay Thai there. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. There you see it again. And no question about that one. He is out cold as he drops. Huge victory. And here we see it again. Good night. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the button. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Ryan El Nino Jackson.
Let's see you throw some combos. Circle, circle. There we go. That hard work is paying off. Okay, adjust. Move your feet. Circle around. Think about attacking from every angle. Here we go. Change position. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Circle around now. Move, move. Circle over. I see you're improving. What happened there? Rotate around. Beautiful. Okay, let's work transitions. I want you changing positions often and fast. Sweet transition. Nice movement there. Let's go. Let's try that again. Every position has a whole new set of options. Very nice. Come on, push it. Good position. Nicely done. You're definitely improving. You're almost there. Turn up the intensity. Positioning is a first step. Nice technique. Keep Start again. That wasn't right. Stay active. Don't give him a chance to rest. Always be looking to improve. Come up. Nice job. This is how we set up. Ten seconds. Give it all you got. You're looking great. Doesn't get much better than that.
now it's... Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between El Nino and Nate, the great Marquardt. A highly respected and decorated MMA competitor, Nate the Great Marquardt has elite level skills in his striking, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. With no holes in his game, he has the confidence to bring the fight right to his opponents and put them away with his punching power or his submissions. Standing across from him in the red corner is El Nino. With some of the most effective takedowns in the division, he'll be looking to quickly drive his opponent into the mat and secure a victory by way of ground and pound or submission. set for the official introductions and with that here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this this man is a mixed martial artist and now it should and when the action begins our rep are you ready to fight nate marquardt el nino and here we on, go joe how do you see this playing out for the champion this crowd is showing their love for him after all these countless championship title defenses, he's arguably the most popular fighter the UFC has ever seen. I'd absolutely agree with that, Mike. This guy is becoming bigger than the sport itself. Oh, and punishing the midsection. That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. Somehow he's able to get up. Over and over. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. And he gets his opportunity, and he jumps down. He's in the guard now. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head. Oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him! He ate that one. Oh! Looking for the rear naked choke finish. Man, the cheers in here are deafening. This crowd is loving this. He's oh, got, he's got it. the net, Mike. He's got it locked in. This is good. It's tight. It's over. It is all over. Rear naked choke. Submission victory here tonight. What a performance. He defends the UFC. Mip as soon as he gets that arm under the chin, bam. That's it. It's locked in. Tap out or go to sleep. From another angle. Beautiful technique here, and he gets the tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to the...
Let's work on your stand-up. Here we go. There we go. That hard work is paying off. Fantastic. Very nice. Ten seconds, give it all you got. <laughs> 